This video is brought to you by Langoni Cues. Hi pool players, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. As promised, we're gonna look at part two of the kick and stick lesson where this time we're gonna focus on the draw part of the shot. So let's go. Oh, again. Okay, we're back at the pool table, guys, and I have to stop doing these side kicks. They are not good for me. Let's just focus on this guy right here. I've set up an example right away, as promised. This time, we're going to look at the draw version of the kick and stick safety shot. So let's jump right in. We're playing a game of 10 ball. Our opponent has hooked us behind the 10, but there's a very doable resave available with a little bit of knowledge, it's not very hard to execute. We have to hit the bottom rail, and this time with draw, we're gonna stop the cue ball where it is right there and send the one ball away and use these two balls as blockers and put our opponent right back into trouble. In the previous versions, we spoke about that we need a top spin to stop the ball, so why is it this time that we need draw? That's because the angle of the shot is way more flat. We're almost parallel to the object ball. And in the previous video, I have a link here in the top and in the description, the angle was way more severe. And that's why we had to come off the bottom rail and use top spin. Because in this example here, even if we hit it pretty good and we use top spin, the cue ball will still move forward. We don't want that. We want it to stop right there, so therefore we need draw. Two things are very crucial while executing these shots. The first one is the speed. You don't want to hit this ball too hard because the draw will not grab. We need the cue ball to curve a little bit into the shot. The spin has to be on there, so not too hard. And second, we have to aim a little bit further than we think. Because of the draw, the cue ball is going to curve back in towards the one and therefore it's gonna hit a little bit fuller. So if we would come here where we think we would have to hit for a stop shot, we're actually with the draw coming in front of the one and splitting them wide open. That's not what we want. So let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna try to pull one off for you guys. See there, you can clearly see that the ball is just stopping where it is and we've reversed the table and our opponent's now in trouble, hooked behind the six. A very little nippy finesse shot, but with that knowledge, we can do a lot of damage. Let's look at a little more advanced version of this one. We're gonna take away this blocker, set the ball up again, and now we only have one ball to work with. If we hit it a little bit harder, we can actually make the cue ball draw back a little bit. So play around with this. The speed is a little bit harder, not much, but we have to adjust our aim a bit so the cue ball can draw back. It's going to look like this. See how nice that cue ball draws? I think that's just such a cool shot. You can experiment with this even more, set it up even further, see how far you can get. This is strong stuff to have in your toolbox, guys. It's going to win you many more ball games. Here's another great example of the same theory. Look at the shot. We're playing 10 ball again. If I would pocket the ball rail first, try to make it. I won't have anything here on the 2-4. They're tied up. I might get hooked behind those balls. So I'm much better off playing the kick and stick safety once again with draw. Why withdraw, remember? Well, even if we're over here and we're gonna roll it, the ball will keep going forward. It's not gonna do as much good. See, I'm hitting it full in the face. The cue ball just keeps going forward. We have to use draw. I'm gonna aim it just a hair further than I would think to allow that draw to grab and stop in its tracks. Looks something like this. Look at that beautiful draw, grabs nicely. 
I have to hit it a little bit harder than the previous version. I'm further away from the object ball, so I need a lot of juice to kill it. But look at the result. It's a shot that's much overlooked by amateur players. So therefore, I want you to put this one in your toolbox. and It's going to win you more games. And here's a final example from a match that I played against Edmund Zaya a few years back in Athens, Greece, King of the Hill in the finals. I was practicing this kind of shot a few times that week and it kind of came up in this match. I was faced with a situation like this. I could not hit the left side of the cue ball, otherwise maybe I would have tried to draw in behind these balls here. But I saw this kick and stick safety, I thought, if I can send the three away and hold the cue ball behind the eight, I have a really good chance of locking him up. It succeeded and I won the game and the match from there. So again, we need a nice amount of draw, not too much speed. The cue ball needs to have the momentum to stop. So you actually on this one have to hit it a bit softer than you think. And then the cue ball will just break here. Three ball hits the cushion and gets behind the seven. A great chance to hook your opponent. Let's see what it looks like. There it is. That was first try. The other shots I needed a few tries also. This one was slam dunk first try. You can really see that break on the cue ball and you get nice results. Not too hard to do actually. With a bit of practice you can get good results very fast. So spend a little bit of time on this guys. You will have a lot of fun. Especially when you run into these kinds of shots and matches. And if you pull them off, it feels pretty good. There you go, pool players. Three powerful kick and stick shots with draw. Use these shots. They will elevate your knowledge, win you many more games and matches. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on this channel. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly. And if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to terminatorcollege.com and check out all the content and courses that are waiting there for you. Take care.